Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I hope you are well. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ricoh 360 Tours software. It is a all-in-one virtual tour creator. It is designed to make creating virtual tours extremely easy, extremely quick, and very efficient. All you need is a subscription to the Ricoh 360 Tours software, the app, and a Ricoh 360 camera. Today, I'm going to be creating a virtual tour, showing you exactly how it works, how quickly and easy it is to use, as well as all of the features that are available. Now, I'm going to be using the Ricoh Theta Z1, which is the most advanced all-in-one Ricoh Theta camera. However, Ricoh have a range of other cheaper cameras, which will also work with this platform. Before I go into creating the tour, let's take a look at some of the features that are available in the Ricoh 360 VR Tour Creator software and why it may be useful for you. So the Ricoh 360 app, the Ricoh 360 software, is is basically designed to make creating virtual tours extremely quick, like I said. Now this app and this platform is mostly directed at real estate agents, people who want to take photos of uh, houses, property, in order for people to be able to view them whenever they want. Now that was, um, in the past, kind of limited to much more expensive properties, large properties, because the investment required to create high quality virtual tours was quite high. However, with cameras like the Ricoh Theta Z1 and apps like Ricoh 360 Tours, it's much quicker and much cheaper to be able to create these virtual tours. And obviously in 2020, we've come to realize that that is possibly important in the future to allow people to see property without having to actually go and visit it. And what Ricoh have done, they've tried to create an all-in-one experience, an all-in-one virtual tour creator that's perfect for that purpose, for allowing real estate agents, estate agents, anyone who's looking to uh, present a property property or present an area and allow people to create an all-in-one listing straight from the app. The app has everything you need to create a virtual tour listing as well as monitor its activity. It has an analytics tab which will show you visitor referrals. You'll see how often your tour was visited. You'll see which properties are the most popular. The, the management of your virtual tour is done entirely in the app. You don't need any extra software. You don't need any complicated video or photo editing software. You can just do it all from your phone app, whether you use iOS or Android. You can add a floor plan to the tour. You can add your own business card. You can add information on the listing. Uh, you can add the address. It will automatically sync with apps to show people exactly where the listing is. So this really is an all-in-one system for particularly a real estate agent, but also anyone who wants to create these listings for um, showing off whatever property they have. As soon as, as soon as you have created the tour, it's ready to go. You can embed it into a website. You can share it on Facebook. You can send a link to whoever you want to send it to, and they'll be able to view the virtual tour literally instantly after you've created it. So all of that sounds great, but does it actually work? Is it as smooth and easy as it sounds? Well, I I am in an apartment now. I'm going to shoot a virtual tour with the Theta Z1 and the Ricoh 360 Tours app, and we'll see. Um, I'm in a pretty small apartment. I'm in London, so this is actually a pretty good example of a um, of a property that would benefit from something like this because in the past it may not have been value for money to shoot a virtual tour in this property. It's just too small. Maybe it wouldn't have been worth it. With the all-in-one 360 camera, the relatively inexpensive system we have here with the Ricoh 360 Tours, it should be possible to create a high quality virtual tour even for a small property like this. So let's shoot our virtual tour and let's then see what this app can do. I'll take you through all of the options in the app and the full virtual tour creation process as well as all of the other features you get with the app so let's go Okay guys, so this is a recording of the Ricoh Theta Tours software. I am now gonna show you everything you need to do to create the tour in the app itself. Now we start off by putting the address of whatever property you are shooting, whichever one you're trying to make the listing for, and it will automatically locate the location on the app. You can see it on Google Apps. Now we are gonna connect directly to the camera to begin shooting the tour. The app connects directly to Ricoh Theta cameras 
cameras, just make sure the Wi-Fi is on and it should automatically connect. And you get a live preview, which is not full resolution, so don't worry if it doesn't look as good as you expected because this is just a preview resolution. And we can look around and see uh, what the camera's seeing. It's a full 360 image as you might ex expect. So just put the camera in the correct location, wherever you wanna shoot, make sure you select a timer because you're gonna to wanna to move out the way. So five seconds will do. And then once you're ready, press the shutter button and get out of the way, move out of the way while the shutter is, uh, while the countdown is going. Now I didn't give myself quite enough time here. You may wanna um, choose 10 seconds or so, but you know, make sure you set the timer because you don't wanna be in the image. Once the image has been taken, it will appear instantly and you can label it using whatever label suits um, suits the location of the photo. And there are several already built into the app, which means you can quickly do it. So this is the living area. So I selected living room and it's ready to go. It's labeled and then we can move on to the next image. So it's the same thing, same process. Just repeat this process for every photo you want to take. So I'm moving into a kitchen now. So I'm going to take the photo, get out of the way, and then label the next image as the kitchen. The camera actually takes three photos, one after the other, and then stacks them together. And this really improves the quality of the image. It means you get a much more high quality image than if it just took a single exposure. There's also an AI enhancer in the app, which automatically enhances the quality of the image and that should again make the overall virtual tour higher quality than was previously possible. So I actually made a whole other virtual tour just before this one so we don't have to go around shooting all of the images. So let's take a look at one I made earlier with all of the images that I needed to create the virtual tour in this fairly small property. Only about seven or so images altogether, but um, enough for a quick virtual tour. So let's take a look. As you can see, they're all listed here, all labeled correctly. When we go into the tour, you'll immediately see that there are some labels and this is where you can connect to different locations and allow someone to tap on those, um, those labels and move between the uh, virtual tour. You can see the quality is pretty good. You can see through the windows, there's no overexposure. You can see a plenty of details. For an all-in-one camera that doesn't require any editing, don't need to connect to a editing software, I think this is pretty high quality. Now this is where you connect all of your images together. Tap another area in the image where you want to place a label, which is where the user will be able to touch and then go to that location in the tour. It's all very simple, as you can see. You just need to make sure that in every image, you're connecting to every other image that you can see or every other location. This is actually the part of using the Rico Theta Tours app that takes the longest, but it is necessary. It still doesn't take too long. It will entirely depend on how many photos you're taking and what kind of property you're in. But yeah, you can see here the quality of the image is pretty good, I think. And um, I will be doing another video showing you some tips and tricks on how to improve the quality even more if you want the highest quality possible so stay tuned for that video coming in the next um, week or so so we're gonna so let's take a look through the other tabs that are on the app what else you can do apart from just create the virtual tour there's also a floor plan tab so you this is where you would import your floor plan you can do that by creating it externally and then uploading it via your phone you can also use your phone camera to take 2D images, just normal camera images, so the, the app can connect to your normal camera if you want to add those as well. You can also choose images from the 360 photos as well, or you can upload images from your phone from a professional camera. Here we have the analytics tab, which basically shows you how many people are looking or have looked at your virtual tour and where they came from. Now this tab is where you can create your business card, which is super, super useful for allowing people to contact you directly, for allowing all of your information to be in exactly the same place within the listing. And this is where you put in all your information. This tab allows you to put more details about the property into the listing. This is where you would put all of the details like the floor size, the description, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, etc. You can also see that it's auto automatically connected to Google Apps so it knows the location of the property and this is what your viewers, your potential uh, clients will see when they look at the listing. And we'll take a look at the full listing in a bit once it's nearly done. 
So here I'm just editing my business card. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. This is not that you know I'm not putting a lot of um, detail and I'm not putting a lot of thought into this because this is just an example. But as you can see, this is what you would do if you wanted to create the full listing with the business card. Now let's take a look at that full listing. What it looks like. Um, it's ready to go. The virtual tour is ready to go. Automatically, you can share it, you can view it, you can send it. It's already done. It's already available online. This is what it looks like. So you start off with the virtual tour, and it's already ready to share. You can explore the whole thing um, with those keyframes you can see there, with those um, taking you to different rooms. And yeah, this was all done in what I guess around about twenty minutes maximum, which is not too bad for a full virtual tour. We can see here also did a decent job outside. I mean, I was in London. It's a pretty grey, horrible day that day, so it was not the best conditions. But you know, it were, it still does a decent job. It does um, shoot good quality, especially with the Theta Z1, which is the camera I would recommend if you wanted the absolute best. But the cheaper cameras can also do a pretty good job as well. So here's all the other information you get in the listing. Um, as you can see, the maps, you get the business card, you get all of the details of the property. Pretty much a full virtual tour listing ready to go, and you could send this to your clients. You could send this to anyone. So that's it, guys. That's how you create a virtual tour using the Rico Theta Tours app. Okay, so um, there we go. I think you'll agree that was pretty simple. Um, I shot the virtual tour. It took about, I guess, 10 minutes or so. I mean, this is a small property. There's only about three rooms. Uh, you could easily uh, scale this up to a much larger property if that's what you want to do. It would just simply require taking more photos. But um, all in all, I've used a few different virtual tour softwares, different apps, but really the Rico 360 tours is uh, one that makes it the simplest. It is by far the simplest. It does pretty much give you everything you need to create a high quality virtual tour um, if you are a real estate agent or if, or if you're shooting for real estate agents or any kind of listing then this really is an all-in-one system I mean the fact that it can uh, be shared straight away um, the imaging enhancement does seem to work it seems to improve the quality you could see details outside of the windows it is basically like creating a whole listing with a virtual tour in about 15-20 minutes perhaps in the future they could add some extra things they could add some add some extra options in the tour you saw on the app here that I could I created some labels to link each room together so you could you know tap on them and it will take you around the property that was great um, I think maybe in the future there just should be a few more options there a few more style options perhaps even um, be able to add some 2d images on top of your virtual tour um, yeah you could definitely get a lot done with this app a lot quicker than you could with the much more complicated systems cameras that were available or that were being used in the past five years or so so yeah guys i guess that's it that's the rico 360 tours it is a all-in-one virtual tour app virtual tour system uh, from rico and oh uh, yeah i think it is useful there are some other options out there there are, there are some other virtual tour uh, uh, software and websites that you can use but I think this is the only one that is created by a company that also produces the cameras so it's uh, linked together the virtual tour app and the camera sync up flawlessly check out the link below to see the pricing options it's pretty reasonable for what you get for all uh, its unlimited virtual tours even on the cheapest pricing plan and the next most expensive I think just opens it up to more than one person to use at a time so that's it guys if you have any questions feel free to um, let me know and I will be doing another video on the Rico 360 tours software just giving you some hints and tips how to get the absolute best virtual tours from this system using these cameras so stay tuned if you want to see that check out my website below if you want to see a full list of all the features from this camera and the uh, app the 360 tour software but until next time guys I will see you around bye